Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, download a mod from ModDB and put it onto your um, onto your mod kit. So first, obviously, what you want to do is you want to go onto the ModDB, download. Oh my God, my guinea pigs are so loud. You want to download, you know, your mod, and you should have a zip folder. If you don't have a zip folder and it's a dot a dot rar file, uh, run the dot raw the dot rar file and um, it should give you a zip file. Um, also, be careful when you're running dot rar files, they're kind of sketchy. Um, once you have that, you want to open your mod kit. So I'm going to do that now. And the reason why I don't have it already open is, let's just say, um, the mod kit has been crashing a lot recently and I don't know why. So we're going to load it now. You'll see what I mean. The second I click off of the mod kit, it crashes. It's really weird. Let me know if anyone else is having that problem. Okay, so once we're here in the mod kit, what we want to do, go down here to the content browser, uh, right click on any of these things doesn't matter so we'll just right click on localization why not we'll go show and explore then what we want to do is we want to go over here to where it says content click on it and then now we have our entire content folder but yes yeah, this is what I mean it just crashes um, but now we have our entire content folder but in file explorer not um, uh, not um, the mod kit. So then, what you want to do is you want to open another file explorer, right? You want to open another window. Then, what you want to do is you want to go over to your downloads and then you want to grab your uh, mod. So, I download my mod, Hello Puzzle. Um, if you don't know what Hello Puzzle is, Hello Puzzle is a mod that I made. Um, it's a very fun mod. You should go download it, by the way. Uh, I don't think you can currently get it on ModDB um, because they like removed it or something stupid like that. Uh, but it is on Steam. You can get it on Steam Workshop if you have that on Steam. So what you want to do is you just want to um, extract the um, zip file. Just let it extract. Then you want to take Hello Puzzle V2 or again whatever mod you downloaded drag the folder into content like this. You'll see it added to this folder here. So now you can close that out. Close you out. Close you out too because that was from an earlier attempt. And then we'll reopen the mod kit and our mod folder should be there. And that should have our um our map files in it. So let's let that load for a second. Alright, it's open. So now, now that's open, we could look. And yep, here it is. Hello Puzzle V2. And you should go to Content Maps. And there you go. There are all your maps. Um, so yeah. So again, once you put it into your mod kit, you should be able to see the folder. Open it. Open it again. Then you want to go Content. Oh. Well, I opened a map by accident. But when you... Um, I'll see if I can pull it back up. But uh, when you... Again, you want to go to the mod folder in the content folder, right? Open it, open the mod folder again, and then you want to click on content, maps, and then there should be a list of all your maps there. I'll see if I can pull it up again because it crashed. We're going to have to fix this though. This is weird.
that was a big thing. Um, so if you see this, uh, just ignore it. Um, if you see this, just ignore it, pretend that it's not there, because it really doesn't mean anything. So again, content, how puzzle, or V2, or whatever mod you have. Click on it, open it, content, maps, and you have a list of all your maps right here. It crashed again. Um, but yeah, I'll figure out why my mod keeps mod uh, kit keeps crashing. If you guys have any idea why it's doing that, please let me know. Um, if this has ever happened to you, please let me know and how you fixed it. If you did fix it. Um, but yeah, that's how you import uh, mods from ModDB to your mod kit. Um, and yeah, I recently figured out how to use custom models in the mod kit. Uh, so if my mod kit stops crashing, I'll do a tutorial on that, and you should see that soon, hopefully, because it should be easy to make it stop crashing. So yeah, with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, break out that mod kit, and start modding.